Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel, My Project Ideas. Today, we are going to make a Java project on document management system. Let us begin. Let us first see the requirements. You will be requiring a Java IDE. You can choose any IDE of your choice and a swing module to create a good looking interface. Let us now understand the working of the source code. Here is my main method. I have created an object of docs class. This is a GUI form, so you can create one by going over here in the project package, click on new, then click on swing UI designer and then click on GUI form. Two files will be generated, the .java file for the uh, code, this is the .java file and the .form file for the UI. This is the interface, let's uh, uh, understand our interface first. This is the J table, do not forget to add the J table under the J scroll pane okay and this is the text area these are the buttons J buttons over here and uh, this is my panel the main panel I have named it as docs panel and provided few margins over here this is the select button and this is the J label and this is text field okay I have added all these uh, from the options that are available in this palette and now let's move to the Java file this is my docs class. These fields will automatically get created once you design this panel. And this is a uh, this is an object of JFrame class. I have named it as docs f. So in the constructor, this is my constructor. In the constructor, you need to pass these uh, lines of code so that whenever you create an object of docs class, this form appears. Okay, so you need to pass your panel name, which was docs panel. Okay, I have named it over here docs panel. So you need to pass your docs panel in this method set contain pane and the uh, for setting our uh, frame in the center of the screen you need to uh, provide null to this method set location relative to. So this uh, what uh, this basically does is uh, put this uh, panel in the center of the screen okay whenever the program runs. Uh, this set visible is set to true so that this panel is visible and uh, Okay, let's move to next line. This is table data Table data is the method which I have created which extracts the data from the database and uh, Store this data into this table J table in the interface Let's understand the functionalities of the button these three buttons You can add a functionality by going over here and go to create listener I have already created one so let's see our code this code will automatically get generated and in here you need to provide the functionality this is my functionality so the add button what it is doing is first checking the uh, name text field is null or not if it is null then pop up a message dialog box which says please fill all fields to add record otherwise if the field is not null then this is my query which I am inserting and I am uh, inputting the values document name the date and the data from here okay the data will be uh, selected from here the name will be here and I am extracting the current date and time and storing it in this uh, column date okay and the uh, we are using uh, this prepared statement so for that you need to use the syntax question mark syntax okay so now uh, uh, we are extracting the time at uh, date and time format okay this i am setting the format in this the date and time first the date then the month then uh, year and uh, the uh, hour and the minutes and seconds okay so i am storing it in this variable of date uh, date time formatter and then i am extracting the uh, time of right now like uh, right now it's 2034 so that time uh, will be extracted once you press this button add button and it will be stored in this variable now okay uh, we have the date in this variable now uh, we are building the connection and you, are, uh, you need to pass your URL the username and the password in this get connection method and then in the prepare statement you can run your query by calling this method prepared statement then uh, these fields the name data is of type string 
so i am using the set string method and i am passing the value this name data from the text field into first column which is my name okay the document name and the second is dtf dot format okay i am using this uh, dtf uh, uh, daytime formatter variable and using the format method present in this class okay and passing the now uh, the time okay then the time will be stored in this format this particular format that you have passed over here so the name and date are uh, filled okay the name and data uh, input are already there now it's the time to extract the data so for data what i am doing here is let's see this select button this is our select button so when uh, when you press this button first line will be executed is this j file chooser so i am instantiating an object of j file chooser what it will do is a pop up a window in front of you and uh, it consists of all the files in your system so you need to choose one file from there okay so if you have chosen any file it will be stored in the form uh, in the form of this integer value either 0 or 1 okay so we are checking if the file is selected or not this is the option that is provided by the gfile chooser dot approve option we are checking it with our uh, response over here we are getting so if you the user has selected something so and it this get matched so this line will run so we are extracting the exact path of that file file chooser dot get selected file and get absolute path that uh, path is extracted and we are setting the path to this uh, text field here this text field is named as path okay so we are setting the value to that path now we got the path over here then after uh, selecting the file we'll click on add record let's see the functionality in the add record uh, okay so we are creating the uh, we are saving the file locally with this name file of type file okay we need to provide the path so we got the path over there so we are extracting from the text field and then we are uh, extracting the data into that field with file reader okay the file reader reads the file the txt file and uh, stores all the information into this variable reader okay we are passing our file over here and then to store the data into the database i am using set character stream and i am passing these three parameters uh, the my data and the index uh, co the column index and the length of the file okay so these three are required for this method set character stream i have set my uh, data as long text in data type in the uh, table in my database so uh, i am using set character stream okay after that i am just executing update this is uh, the uh, method you need to call then uh, i am popping up a message details added successfully and after that i am just uh, 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 just emptying the text fields okay the name and the path are set to null then catching exception if there is any and then calling this table data to extract the data and uh, put it in this table now this is the listener for update button in similar way i am uh, just uh, if the user choose another file okay so i am again uh, doing the same thing and extracting all this uh, everything and the date time and the file and updating it over here update docs and under the correct uh, under the same name okay you need to provide the name exactly which is already stored into the database then you can update it okay set data if anything goes wrong the exception is uh, we are catching the exception over here and printing it in the console okay and i am running this query with prepared statement and uh, then similarly execute update method is called and popped up a message updated successfully okay we have uh, gone through with this button select file button update button okay now it's time for uh, to understand reset button okay 
so reset button is just basically uh, we are disposing this frame this is my current frame which is named as docs f we are disposing this frame and then creating another object of docs okay that's it okay uh, this was it let's uh, try to run this program okay we can see this table is uh, table over here with uh, the column name doc name date and data let's uh, give this a uh, name um, my first doc okay select file i have already made one file in the desktop this docs file let's open this okay it's working we, you can see the name and the date and time okay uh, it's 2040 same as my computer clock and this is my data okay this was already stored over here okay to see your data uh, let's check the listener if it's working or not okay you can see your data over here let's reset this okay it's working uh, i haven't shown you the listener i guess or this table data okay table data what it is doing that uh, uh, we are running this query select all from docs this is my table name and i am storing the result into result set and then i am calling this method set model and then instead of this method this method i have created on my own because of some error but instead of this you can use dbutils dot result set to table model method that works in the exactly same way and uh, you can pass your result set over there and it will work in the same way then catch exception if there is any okay so this is my table listener okay so you can add one table listener by going over here into the table right click over there then click on create listener and then click on mouse listener your mouse listener will be generated and you, this is the code that i have provided okay so what i'm doing here is uh, calling this method get model and uh, saving it in this variable dm of type default table model and then uh, i'm calling this method get selected row uh, from table and saving it in this variable of type integer okay so what we want to do is run this method which is available in default table model class uh, get value at method which uh, which uh, takes the parameter the row and the index uh, the column index and the row index and uh, then extract the value from the table okay from this j table so uh, at the 0th index okay 0th column it starts from 0 my name data was present okay and in the second column my uh, data which was uh, there in the selected file is stored okay so it extracts that data and we are setting it into text area okay and the name is uh, set to this name data text field we are first passing it into string and then saving it in here okay okay this was it and uh, we can see that it is working uh, the doc name is over here document name and the data is over here in the text field uh, text area Okay this was it I hope you understood the working of the code thanks for watching subscribe to our channel for more interesting ideas